Okay, welcome back. Um, I left you all with three questions and I had you do two things to, actually three things to do to those three compounds. I had you r first figure out for two of those compounds the number of hydrogens that's in the compound and then I had you write a straight chain structure. Um, prob hopefully you have written an open chain and then probably write a condensed structure for all three compounds and then I have you figure out isomers for each of those three and the third thing I had you do was if no isomers possible then say <clears throat> no isomers possible. All right, so I'm assuming you have worked it out and I'm guessing some of you may have got it right, some of you may have not. So let's not take any chances, let's walk you through all of you with the questions, all right. So um, I'm not going to do all of them here because of course I would see you tomorrow and hopefully we can do this as a class in our classroom, all right. So um, but for the rest of the YouTube viewers, you may have to come back at a later time probably to see the entire video for this, uh, for this explanation, okay. Or I might not publish the whole, whole video set for this particular phase for regular YouTube viewers and people in other classes. But for my class, I would only be explaining one of the two because I think if I explain all three, then we will have nothing to talk about in class. All right, so C4, okay, we have the formula is CnH2n plus 2, so that means we will have C4H, oh, for the first time I did not put bracket in front of that hydrogen, so that will be C4H10, right, so you should have had hydrogen 10. I don't think anybody would have problem with that at this point and if you do, please tell me in class what exactly your problem is with that, alright. Now I am not going to spend time writing the open structure here because I have done enough examples on that. So I'm going to write only the condensed structure, so it's going to be CH3, CH2, CH2 and CH3. So let me get a different pen right here, maybe a black, okay. Straight chain, okay. This is our straight chain. We got it. All right, one thing done. Now we got to figure out isomers. As I've said, there is no straightforward way to really tell if I have this many carbons, how many isomers should I have? And how did I proceed to do isomers? Well, first I didn't include any hydrogens. We, are, we have a straight chain of four carbons. Well, start with just three then, okay? And then put one vertically, okay? If I put this here, okay, it's just hard for students to visualize, okay? And I totally understand if you have that problem because you don't have that same kind of training that someone who has taken the class or has had taught this class before. So if you are struggling, there is nothing wrong with it. If I put this carbon here, that is same as a straight chain except it's curved. Curved does not make it completely different, okay? As I said, just because it's L-shaped does not make it a isomer, okay? That means this is not an isomer. This, however, is because we don't have a place where two car, three carbons are attached to a single carbon. In the above structure, every carbon is attached to other carbon, right? But not the structure. So again, this carbon already has one bond, so you need only one more, three more. This carbon already has three bonds, so you can only have one bond. So I'm going to write it this way. This again has CH3 and this has CH3. Can we think of any other way to put this? Okay, let's do two, okay, let's just do two, okay. Well, we have to somehow put the remaining two carbons, we can put them vertically, but then it's a straight chain that's like this, it's like a basin and that's not an isomer, okay, because that is essentially all carbons in a sequence, all right, let's say we do this, 
okay that looks like that okay so it's an l so that's not an isomer is there any other way we can put this okay what if i try to do this well that looks like that right oh uh, oh, oh, what I did is I missed it C H 3 sorry. No, that is 3 yeah 4 carbon sorry I missed a C H 3 here. If I do this well that looks exactly like that. So, that is not an isomer because that is exactly something we have already established. So, do we have any place to go? Well, answer is no we are done exploiting our options. Remember that airport example I gave that is it no matter where what end of the airport I start I have to end up at that security checkpoint where I am going to get stripped and then treated badly. So, you know there we go we have our we have our branched chain right. right? So, we have our straight chain and branched chain right very good. So, I have done this compound and I have done this obviously yes I had isomers. So, this was not applicable for this particular compound right. So, I want you to watch the videos and perhaps maybe come prepared for class and then maybe we can talk about these two in class as part of an activity or something along those lines ok. So, this compound only has two isomers ok. It is your job now to do it for the remainder of the two compounds and I will post a separate video on this particular because I do not want to publish it yet alright alright stay tuned for more videos.